Howdy. What's this? That is a brand new alternator from JS Alternators. And this is a belt. Pretty tight, actually. So, high output. It's Chrysler. Brand new C 5.7. 240 alt. Or 240 amp alternator, brand new. And I don't know. I'm a little confused because I thought these were supposed to be better than stock. So let's take a look here. There's one real big problem that I have, and it's going to drive me nuts. Anyway, we're going to turn it on. Alright, so we're running 14.1, 14.2, give or take. Okay, usually the car runs at 14.4 uh, on the average, and now it's dropping down to like 14.0. But that's not the problem. Can you hear it yet? Because I sure as fuck can hear it. And that just, that doesn't sound right to me. So, a little closer here. Hear that whining? Whenever I've had an alternator whine like that in the past, it means it's about to fucking die. It means replace it. There's no way that that can be normal. So I'm reaching out to JS Alternator to see what the problem is. Maybe you guys might have some answers. Um, I don't know. Maybe it needs a couple days to break in. I'm a little scared to drive it. One, uh, I'm a little disappointed the fact that, you know, if I pull up next to somebody, you know how it's embarrassing that is? To have a fucking wine coming from a car like that? I don't know, maybe some of you guys accept that, but I sure as fuck don't. And when I pull up next to somebody else's car, last thing I want to hear is his fucking belt slipping or his goddamn fucking alternator whining like a crying little bitch begging for fucking help. So, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe there's something wrong with it. Maybe I got to send it back. I hope not. I mean, I hope it clears up and it starts providing power like it should. So, I mean, we got some pretty good grounds in there. Some, most of the grounds are in the back where the engine is so maybe that could be an issue but I, I don't think that would affect the wine I think that would affect the voltage but not the wine so why is this thing whining I mean is it that is that normal I can't be normal and I definitely shouldn't hear that over the car I can hear it over the fucking everything you can hear it over all of it Okay, so if I give it a little gas, you can see some variation. But not much. But I mean, look at that. It, it even dropped. It dropped to like 13.9. So maybe, maybe, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give JS Salt the, the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe it could be a, a belt slippage issue. I don't know. So I'm going to reach out to them, see what they got to say. Anybody's got any opinions, leave them in the comments for me. Let me know. It's my first high output alternator. And I, I'm expecting a little more than 14.1 and having it bounce back and down. So I don't know. Let me know. Educate me. Somebody, please. Thank you. Thank you for watching.